dialogo. Si. At the beginning of February, Morocco's High Council of Ulemas proposed that apostasy should no longer be considered a criminal offense. This council has no executive or legislative powers, but its statement reflects a firm tone with respect to its position on fundamentalism. The opinion of this council has no effective value, but it can help promote a certain openness. It can also be considered a message to fundamentalists who do not believe in reform and want to keep old laws without a critical spirit. Adnane Mokrani is Muslim and teaches at the Pontifical Institute for Arabic and Islamic Studies, which is sponsored by the Vatican. Mokrani states that Muslim countries still have to introduce far-reaching reforms to their law. For example, although apostasy is in most cases not condemned, to change the religious attitudes signals important consequences in the day-to-day -day life of the normal citizen. This is not enough. It is not enough to say that apostasy will not be a crime and that there will be no punishment. In my opinion, changing one's religion in Morocco often results in losing many family rights. It can lead to divorce or prevent inheritance. Therefore, all of these problems are yet to be solved. There is the problem of mission, of expressing and calling people to another faith which is not Islamic, and this is a problem not only for Christians engaged in mission, if not also for diverse communities of Muslims like the Shiites. They also are not allowed to witness to their faith in public. Though the reform of family legislation is a key point, the other is that universities regain their independence so that Islam is free of political interests. Adnain Mukrani recalls that the Muslim world has given clear signs of rejecting fundamentalism. The major milestone was the Marrakesh Declaration of January 2016. At that time, 300 Muslim leaders from more than 100 countries signed a document with concrete measures to promote the defense of religious minorities in Muslim countries. There is a long way to go from theory to practice. The most curious thing is that in Rome, they have a powerful ally. Credo che non è giusto identificare l'Islam con la violenza. Questo non è giusto e non è vero. For decades, popes have been pushing for rapprochement between the two religions. John Paul II made a key gesture when he kissed a copy of the Quran before speaking to 800,000 young Muslims in Morocco. Another gesture of great impact was that made by Benedict XVI, who prayed in the Blue Mosque in Istanbul.